Who do you honestly believe is easily more controllable? A person that believes everything they're told and does everything that they're told to do, or a person who doesn't? Intelligence is the antithesis of what they're looking to accomplish in this system. It is the anti-intellectualism war that is going on right now. That's why I always try to encourage everyone to speak, write, and enunciate in full and complete sentences. Clear, concise, colloquial English. You know, instead of these abbreviations, BFF, LOL, just write out the words. Instead of texting, call somebody. Instead of calling somebody, if you're close by, go visit them. Because these technological forms of communication are very impersonal. The best form of communication is face-to-face. If somebody lives nearby, go see them. You know, look right into their eyes, establish and maintain eye contact, and have a conversation of substance that isn't media-based in nature. Start breaking away from the addiction to social media, online, movies, video games, talking about what's going on in politics. That's not your life. That's the carousel going on around you. Have nothing to do with that, and it will have nothing to do with you. Ancient Chinese proverb, as you think, so shall you be. The essence of that is very true. It isn't the thinking part that's true, but whatever you find yourself occupying yourself with, what is occupying the space of your life, becomes your life, because you're making room for it. You're inviting it in, so it's going to stay. Consider your life the home of your soul, the reality of your eternal journey. And whatever you invite and whatever you're inviting in those doors, that's what's going to occupy that space. And that's precisely the reality you shall observe and the experiences that will be presented to you. So it's all in alignment with each other. So make a point today to not stare at your cell phone all day long. Go educate yourself somewhere, something other than the internet. Go old school, you know? Actually take a pen and paper and write. Read a real book that you hold in your hands. Mail a letter to somebody, (laughs) you know, not an email. Try it. It's not going to kill you. It's a really great experience when you free yourself from the technological addictions of these forms of entrapment that they have called cell phones, internet, social media. Because they're basically getting you to commit a crime, and that crime, of course, is dumbing yourself down. And you're far more intelligent than that, than they absolutely give you credit for. Know it to be the truth, because Source does.